Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 1 of Outer Banks, entitled Pilot, like most first episodes are. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in that description box down below, as well as links for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. This is our good pal Jerry right here. He does his best work behind the scenes in just a few seconds, just working out, doing his thing. I don't know what this show's about. I just know I had a lot of recommendations for it. And it was short enough for me to justify to throw it in with the loop of everything else. So we have three seasons, 10 episodes apiece, 30 episodes in total. I think the third season just came out. So we'll catch up with everybody else soon. I know everybody that watches this says they enjoy it. You all say you enjoy it. My parents say they enjoy it. So I guess that's a good start. I don't have anything else. I'm just going to get right into it. If you guys want to watch any of these episodes unedited, uncut, they're all, anything that's over here is also over on Patreon. And if you see a blue screen pop up, it's got a little Jer Bear logo on it. Just know that it's just for the sake of copyright stuff compared to other streams, compared to other peeps that will simply have the screen away and then their screen comes back and then they take it away. Instead, I just put a little blue bear over it so you can still see some of the screen just to make it a little easier for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes just like we just had him. Boop. And let's watch. Not a past blue ribbon, brother. That's what a three-story fall to the deck. That is some white people shit. One yeah. Chance of survival. Hmm. Should I do it? Yeah, you should jump. I'll shoot yeah. you on the way down. You're gonna shoot me? Yep. They're gonna have Japanese toilets with towel warmers. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? This used to be a turtle habitat, but who cares about turtles? I Japanese guess. toilets. Those are the holes just in the ground, right? Can you please not kill yourself. Cold that beer. I'm not giving you another one. Whoa! Oh, shit. Of course you did. Like, right when I told you. Oh. A plus. Way to go, dipshit. Hey! Hey, uh, security's here. Let's wrap it off. All right, boys, dumpy, dumpy. Today. That's, probably... That's lazy on his part, because you could just get a car and just chase these motherfuckers down. But it always just a bunch of punk-ass kids drinking some Pat's Blue Ribbon of all alcoholic beverage choices at some house being built. Welcome to the Outer Banks, Paradise on Earth. Roll credits! They're not going to say the word pilot. And if they do... The Outer Banks. Paradise on Earth. You just read what the sort billboard said. Hell yeah. Two jobs or two houses. Two... How the hell y'all got a boat? That's JJ. My best friend since the third grade. And that's Kiara. Or Ki as we Ki call Kiara! Oh, Kiki! Not saving turtles. So she's a rich kid, actually. Foot in both worlds. Ah, so she's a rich kid. So she, yeah, yeah. She dipping in both... Dipping in both pots. Okay. Kiki, I see you. And that's Pope, the brains of the operation. Pope. Okay, so the main character, I don't know the main character, but the person narrating is John B. We got JJ, Kiki, and Pope. So we all kind of got a thing for her. That's not healthy. <laughs> that is just stressful, actually. Finalist for the Lucas T. Vanderbilt. And that's me, John Booker Rutledge. Dude, come on, man, get out of here. Hey, now. And this is where I live. I, you know what? Don't tell him to get out of there. That's on you, brother. You need to close your goddamn door. If you try and get freaky deaky and try to get in there and get your little play on, close the door. What's wrong with you? Do better. Put a sock on the handle. Morning, Key. Morning. An old fish shack on the marsh. The Chateau, as my dad used to call it. Is that Simon Cow? Oh, what is happening? That was three. And where are they located? I know it's the Outer Banks, but like, where is this? It gives us like some Cali vibes, but... Officially presumed dead. Damn. I refused to sign the papers. Until I see a body, I'm not giving up. I don't blame you. John, it's come to our attention that you are an unemancipated minor living on your own. <laughs> no. No. My dad missing, my uncle MIA, and the bride of Frankenstein threatening foster care. <laughs> Jefferson was the small thing. <laughs> but then I caught a break. Hurricane Agatha continues its steady march towards Agatha. It was Agatha all along. Holy shit. Hurricane Agatha. Oh, North Carolina. Is that what they just, just said? Supposed to do my assessment. Hey. I ain't gonna lie, no hate, but North Carolina is probably one of the worst states I've ever been to. It's not as bad as Indiana, but like, I've only been to North Carolina once. It just wasn't a good experience. I need, I need to redo it. Y'all gotta be absolutely fucking stupid. That's that surfer shit, like, dude, like, we're gonna go ride a wave, dog. <laughs> gnarly dude like no brother like chill out stay inside those people are talking about we need to board this up in these sandbags you over here on the phone help them hurricanes kill people those are 
surfable waves, bro. <laughs> Outer banks. Why'd it come in all dramatic like it? You get in that yeah, boat, boat, bring boat, your boat. ass back up. You gonna get your ass whipped. Whipped. If I was him and I got somebody calling me a pussy, I'm gonna flip your boat over. I'm gonna throw a damn toaster in the water. Fuck you talking to punk punk ass little kids, bro. I promise I'll do it tomorrow, Dad. I promise. You get all right, all right, you're done. All right, you're done. Stop. Damn! Jesus, help! You okay, JJ? Uh, I think my eels pushed the back of my head. Oh, he's scorpions. Okay? I'm alright. Uh, oh, what did you do? Uh, sandbar. The channel changed. No shit. Damn, son. Hey, I saved the beer, though. Congrats, JJ. What's wrong with you? Guys. I oh, I thought it was about to be like that motherfucker got arms sticking out of his neck or something. No, no, guys, I'm serious. There's, there's like a boat down there for real. It's a boat. It's a boat. Oh, oh. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby. You think there's a dead body down there? That's your first goddamn thought. Guys, in here, huh? yeah, he. It's just John B's dad. He's just hanging out. He's fucking drowned. You didn't even bring that fucking thing with you, whatever it was. But you got a key. That's a plus. That's a good start. You gonna swim back up now? Should we go get him? Oh my god, that oh, took geez. forever. Any dead bodies? Looting no. potential? No. I found this motel key. Uh, a key. Yes, a key, Pope. Great. We salvaged motel key. You don't know what's in the motel, though. Maybe we'll get a finder's fee. Yeah, no, we're all summer. Thanks, Agatha, you batch. Oh, that's a body. Oh! Is that his dad? That motherfucker bald headed, drowned, and everything. Well, they said I have to wait 24 hours before I can report anything, but I know something's wrong. Nothing is wrong. That's not true. In case anybody out there is wondering. You can report a missing person immediately. The sooner you do it, the better. You don't have to wait 24 or 48 hours. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. If somebody's missing, report it immediately. Just saying. And if you're talking about old boy out there that was swimming, he did. Wrong. You know it's Scooter. He knows how to handle himself in the storm. Well, when was the last time that you saw him? Uh, last... Thank God. It's like living in Nicaragua. It didn't fall near the house. It completely uprooted it. Some of y'all need to be humbled. Storm blew it right into the pool. Be careful with that. Rose is going to kill me. Yes, sir, Mr. Cameron. I don't even want to know how much it costs. Dad, the Wi Fi is not working. I can't post anything. We You'll be f a it hurricane, sweetheart. Kids. What is your sister doing? Saving mice. I'm sorry. Sarah? I'm busy. What are you doing? The birds. Did you just swing it at a. Did you just swing it at a bird with a fucking racket? Birds have to eat too, Sarah. Oh, God. I'm Sarah. I'm so sorry. Lana Grubb. She's scooters. Like, you're not Florence Puig, but, like. What? I'm so confused about how somebody can look like somebody, but not at the same time. Wife. Now, you were storm prepping with him, right? <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. With knockoff Florence Puig here, is this the girl that was in the new Knives Out movie, Glass Onion? Or am I tripping? I'll look it up after this episode. You can do anything stupid. Oh, we will. I'm not making promises. Be careful. I mean it. <laughs> All right, dude. Y'all be careful, bro. All right, let's go, dude. Where are all these mattresses out here? After a hurricane, they have to ditch them because they're all moldy. Oh, gross. That's true. Be careful, God. You're dude, so what the heck was that about? No, maybe she wants us to be careful. Since she heard you're being threatened with exile, she's just been like, oh, be so careful, John B. Be careful, Danny. Yeah. Like, oh, give that me that John D. Bro, you know the rule. No poke on poke macking. Besides, you're the one who's always hitting on her. Dude, of course I'm hitting on her. She's a super hot, rich hippie chick slumming with us. Why? No poke on poke action. I feel like y'all gonna break that rule. I give it three episodes. I if that. But 
jacket. Denim slides. No name on the jacket. Nice jacket. Definitely over 50. He's got new balances. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Middle-aged folks love some fucking new balances, man. It's a good sturdy shoe. Yeah, dude, come here. Are you fucking stupid? The literal thing said 61666. Are you blind? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I don't know. I don't know about the second one. These coins, they're way My cousin said you can catch swords, but you don't have to do this. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Shoals. Holy shit. Oh. Have you heard of shoals? Check it. Hmm. You're gonna want to see this. That's a whole lot of money in a motherfucking shaboing boing. Y'all are moving too slow for me. Throw some at the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A rock. A brick. Stand back. A hurricane coming through. What the fuck was that? Did you ever play baseball? Dude. I was on the math team. You grab the gun. You grab the gun. What the fuck? This, what the this is a fucking spinning cabinet. Just box, 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 box. I'm not stealing anything. Get that. Let me tell you something. If that motherfucker would have pointed a gun at me, I'm swinging on you immediately. I don't care if you're my homeboy or not. I don't care if you got a little extra energy or not. I don't care if your finger's on the trigger. I don't care if I know safety's on you. Point a gun in my face. I'm fucking swinging on you. What is wrong with you? I'm an athlete. You know what? Yeah. Um. Just start having a conversation. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, but that. But. Oh shit. Fun. <laughs> Could have warned us a little sooner. You would have, except Pope was on the math team. You're on the math team? The cops took everything like it was a crime scene. Did you guys find anything? Did we find any? You got the gun. No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we did. What the hell? Dude, what? You chill. Come on. Why would you take that from a crime scene? It's better than the I'm cops having it, bro. I'm going to lose my merit scholarship. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> don't, I, bro. I will fucking murder you. Stop doing that shit. Also, did you take any more money? Like there was more money missing. You both should have took a stack. Just saying. That'd have been the first thing I would have done is take the money and then hop out the window. But that's just me. Built different. At least you have us, right? I'm living the nightmare. Because he needed gas. We're talking about a dirtbag marina rat who's never had more than 40 bucks in his pocket and all of a sudden he's got a Grady White? Did you get all that information from that girl or did... Because a second ago you said you didn't know who he was. He's like, who's that guy? Like Scooter Grubbs. He was like, ah, I know him. It was just more of like, oh, who's that? I'm on to you, boys. I'm on to you. Just saying. Things have good outcomes all the time. All we need to do right now is just. Bro, having a hundred bucks like 20 years ago? Not even that. Having a hundred bucks like 10 years ago was such a fucking just blessed, right? Now it's just like, meh. Figure out a way to get into that cargo holder. How the fuck do I get a keg? By the way, because my assumption is everybody here is a minor. So, like, how'd you get to kick? Party on, brother, responsibly. I don't condone it, but, like, you do what you want. Responsibly. Live your best life. These are the kids from that, oh, God, what was that skater movie? I almost said dogma. It's not it. Lord of Dogs or some shit. Land of Dogs. Dog Lord. It's something like that, right? And they all had the little weird surfboard, skateboard things. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Friends. The working class derelicts. And I heard bringing out the damn horoscope. Astrology. First conversation. You're talking about Virgos and Aries and Leos. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish I was an Aries. Only because Aries is the god of war. And I think that's fucking cool. Come on. Actually, too many people, I think most of y'all know my birthday now. We've celebrated a few times on stream, so I'm not even going to do the guess the horoscope thing. Just to bring it up in a first conversation is wild. And then to judge somebody's entire life based on their like horoscope is also wild. I've met people like that. You have a conversation, and you're like, oh, what's your horoscope? You tell them. What's your, what's your sign? And you're like, this is my sign. And they're just like, 
I guess we're not talking to you anymore. I'm like, what the fuck? I can't help that the sun, my rising and whatever the setting and 10 o'clock sign is. I don't fucking know. I mean, what do you want from me now? And they just kind of sit there, but in actuality, they You know what this actually reminds me of? And uh, it's just like one of those weird FOMO thing. It's like, one, late night beach parties have to be a blast, right? Like, just that whole vibe and settings they've shown so far with the sun going down out on a boat. Like, it looks really chill. But one of the things, it was, I don't know how long it lasted. And I, I kind of caught part of one, but I wasn't really there for that reason was spring break and the spring breaks that happened when I was in middle school and in high school were wild. And I noticed they don't happen anymore. Nobody talks about it and gets excited. Granted. I mean, I wouldn't see anything on Facebook. So I'm not friends with kids, but like on Twitter, you would think that stuff would trend at some point. Like when I was in middle school and high school, like MTV spring break, uh, I think BET had stuff for spring break. Can't think of the popular things, but a lot of the things people go down to PCB, Panama City Beach, and they would have their spring break. And when I went, it was in 2013. I remember how wild the beat. We called the tail end of a spring break, and it bled into Georgia's spring break. And I just remember, like, seeing all of these people just out partying. We didn't get a chance to like. I didn't get a chance to go down there with my family. And then it was like dead. And then more people came from Georgia as we were leaving. So, like, just seeing all those spring break things. Now, granted, I don't like people. Like, I don't want to be, that sounds horrible. I don't want to be in that sea of humanity, right, of all these people around. But it looked fun. Like, shit like this. Like, sitting out on the beach, got a little fire going. Everybody's maybe got you a little brewski, just chit-chatting it up. I feel like that'd be pretty dope. I feel like that'd be nice. I keep going to these these states that have beaches, but I, I haven't been to the beach in like four years. I need some sand between my toes. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Random tangent. No. Okay. What you got, Milwaukee's on, best? You know what? You know what? I'll take it. I, I'll, thank you, man. Uh, I appreciate it. suggestion that's offered, but I didn't ask you. Now, if you said pretty please, maybe. Oh, but pretty please. Yeah. Pretty so, please. Sarah, I no, 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 no. She doesn't want to use it. Okay, no, right. no, 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 no. You're so hey, funny, hey, man. You're dirty funny, pose. Man. Damn, he just swung on old boy, dropped you in the water. My man's Topper. Damn, this brother's name is Topper, but he's for sure a bottom. And you go to somebody talk about your old man like that, you better get up and whip his ass. Put him in a fucking million dollar dream sleeper hold. There you go, you got, oh, you had him in a guillotine, bro. Choke him out, what are you doing? Swinging. Put your forearm... Oh my god, bro, you had, you had him. Lock that shit in right there, bro. Fucking choke him out. You know that fight in, in the first Black Panther movie where like T'Challa drinks the shit and like it you know he strips the power of the Black Panther and then he fights M'Baku and then he later fights uh Killmonger? This is that fight if it took place in, like, Beverly Hills. There it is. I forgot every, like, white area ever for a second. <laughs> like, super. <laughs> this would be that fight if it took place in Beverly Hills. That's the joke I was getting at. Yep. They're having the time of their life. Are you choking him out in the water? Are you drowning him? Nah. You're a bitch. JJ needs therapy. You just let off two rounds and you kicked everybody off the thing. I mean, I get you putting the gun to the back of Buddy's head. I get it for story purposes. Real life situation. If you, First of all, JJ, you just want to pick the fight. And then John B. took the fight from you. Okay? So, it's all right if your boy loses. But if you try to drown somebody, y'all are the pogues? The pogies? And you didn't jump that dude? 
hoping JJ should have ran up and started swinging on your shit. Listen, you want people to fight one on one. I get it, but you start drowning somebody. My friend's like, "No, nah, I got this fight." Blah blah blah. Okay, granted, I couldn't tell you the last time I fucking saw a fight uh, because I'm not in middle school. But like, if some shit pops off and you're fighting on the beach, and they try to drown my friend, answer this question: You ever been jumped before? I, we will jump your shit. That's crazy. Y'all like, he's drowning him, but you're not gonna run up and do nothing. Just gonna watch your friend get fucking dead. All right. Get decent, sweetie. We need to talk. Sorry to break in like this. It's Indra. Hi, Indra. The hundred. The DCS called. They wanted me to check on you. See how you're doing. So how are you besides the juvie? Pretty big drop for a small kid like you. Up here. Is you and your little friends doing whatever you want. Out of bags. Pro credits. Or foster care on the mainland. Mm. You want inch above the surface, John D. If I was you, I'd start flapping my wings. Bears, I'm flapping them. Are you sure you didn't come across a wreck yesterday? Yeah. Oh, there's some shit going on. I got dogs living better than this, John D. Might want to think about cleaning up. I like that she says his name like that all the time, John B. Nobody ever just calls him John. It's John B. And you know what, man? You, you young whippersnappers with your, uh... <laughs> Anybody that's, like, between 18 and, like, 23 got that high-ass metabolism... Y'all can just drink beer and not gain any weight. Brother, let me tell you something. I can take two sips of water, and I'm like, why am I bloated from water? What the fuck is out here drinking beer for breakfast? Don't gain a pound. Make it make sense. I need a better metabolism. Okay. Can we drop the whole Pogues versus Kooks thing? It is really stupid. It's pretty childish, but it happens. You know, it's easy to say when you're a kook. I think he got a little thing for her, TBH. But then again, they all got a thing for Kiki, too. Are you and you just let, like, you didn't even say it. This man just came up and stole some shit off your daddy's boat. And you're just like, what's up, John B? You taking some stuff? All right. <laughs> Sick, dude. Your oil's pretty gnarly, dude. <laughs> like, what? Right. Now, all kidding aside, ladies, bring a lot of liquids. I don't care what swill you bring. Does that include Natty Light? What I don't see, I'm worried about. Hell no. Nah. So that pool, will you pump? Thank you, ma'am. Hey, Bill, I'm going to get at you about that tomorrow, right? Excuse me, officer. We're here about the missing yeah. boat. Hey, what can I do for you, pals? Associates of the owner. We're here to help every we can. Uh, we're devastated about Scooter. I just feel sick about it. You mind if we join your armada? Take a look for ourselves? Yeah, why not? Set eyes. Let's you know if we find anything, officer. You just gonna let these you gonna let these sketchy motherfuckers show up and mm, you dumber than a bag of bricks. Only twenty six seconds has passed by. Close. You got two more seconds on that clock, brother. I don't know why this show be fucking with you. Breathe slower. They'll be fine. We should end the episode right here, actually. This would be a great place to end it. What are we doing? We're definitely out of air. There is... Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Like that. Slowly exhaling through my nose that entire time, I was able to hold my breath. So was, that worked out pretty well. You okay? Yeah, I ran out of air. You scared the shit out of me. Yeah, the cops are up here, but uh, took care of them. My bad. It's all good. Yeah, you kind of. I hear show, another boat. Hey guys, guys, bogey two o'clock. What? Do you recognize that boat? 
I've never seen it. No, put the fucking bag down, weirdos. I don't know, but let's not stick around to find out. Yeah, yeah. Get the bell on. Yeah. Yeah, I would put the bag down. No, we're not going to wait. Are you joking? Go. JJ, hurry up. And my man pulled out a fucking sniper rifle. What the? Holy shit, guys! Come here, get down. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Almost died over this. More keys? Oh, a compass. about right good job everybody we found a compass dude what it's not worth anything mm. <sighs> my father's... this was my papa's compass okay here's my question i mean it's a good ending I, it would have been i think ending it right there on them like him in the water just would have been a dumb cliffhanger but that's good Hopefully the next episode starts with it was my father's and it's like their reaction too. Like, what do you mean? I would have liked that. I think right there, like this was my father's and he says that and you get the shot of the other three looking at him and then it goes back to him and then you end with that same face. Um, I think, I think that would have been pretty solid. I'm actually going to look up this real quick. So, I mean, it's a really, it's an interesting first episode. Like, it's not the most mind-blowing thing ever, right? But it is just kind of like setting the story that something's out, like something's going on. Like, people want this compass. There's more related to his dad. And he said his dad said he found something. So what is it that his dad found? And maybe that compass, maybe it opens up or something. And there's something else that is going to lead them to where they need to be. Lead them to something that's important or life-changing or like the contraband stuff just something right so i don't i don't know it's very cool it's uh, corny is not the right word it's cheesy and i like it and it's it's a little offbeat and it's funny i don't know there's just a lot of weird <laughs> a lot of weird decisions made uh, a lot of a lot of very questionable things i'm skimming through and looking at the ratings for stuff and again i don't care about ratings for shows it looks like it does get better. It like dips. So that's cool. There's there's relationship building. There's there's interest building. There's people who like other people. Those things are slowly taking place. And I, I do like that about it. So post hurricane, they're just out here swimming around. And they come across this shipwreck. I would have took more money out of that safe if I was them. And I still think watching Topper beat the shit out of them, y'all should have jumped in. You should have jumped in to help your boy out. That's all I got to say about that. You should have got in there, swung your fist, dropped the people's elbow, and then bounced. But, uh, yeah, that one girl, I was right, that plays Sarah is the girl from the new Glass Onion, Madeline Klein. She looks more like Florence Puig now than she does here. That's that's very weird. She was also in Stranger Things? Was she the girl that got her nose broken? Tina? That sounds right. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't watched the new Knives Out Glass Onion, it's pretty damn solid. It's pretty good. I think I like the first one more, but the second one is still pretty solid. But anyways, I don't really have too much to say about the episode. It was enjoyable. We touched on all the beats as kind of we went along. I will say, uh, first episode down, not too big a fan of, uh, of JJ. I think he's just kind of... Just kind of a little guy. He's... <laughs> He's, he's just kind of there. I don't know. He's a little sporadic, little shit. I do like... Uh, I like Kiki. John B. I'm like in the middle on. I like Pope. I don't like Topper. So that's that's about it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it for, for all the things I talked about at the end of the episode. After a hurricane, John B., J.J., Pope, and Kiera plunge headlong into danger and adventure when they find a mysterious sunken ship. Season 1, Episode 1, entitled Pilot. Season 1, Episode 2, entitled The Lucky Compass. <gasps> the Golden Compass. And I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.